Um, what I like the most about scuba diving, I think, is um, entering another world. So being released from all the things that you unconsciously take for granted. Gravity, <laughs> right? Where gravity is pretty much a, a, a granted, right? You, you, you know it's there, and if it wasn't there, you'd feel something's missing. It's a different element. You're not in air anymore. You're in a much more thick element. So you can push on it, and, and, and you, can, you can fly, really, you can fly. And then you just see a world that your eyes aren't used to feast on. So it's just a stimulation of the soul, I, I want to say, but of, of, of the creativity, of the imagination, of the mind. It just stimulates you with all these shapes and colors that you're just not used to seeing. And that's when you realize just how incredible nature is. I started scuba diving when I was nine years old. My father put a tank on my back and threw me into the sea. And uh, yeah, basically got the virus from him at that age. I'm following um, at least some of the very core philosophy of my father, which is people protect what they love. So if you can show people in Luxembourg, in Paris, in, in big cities that are far from the sea, so you can show them and, and, and make them understand just how connected they are to the ocean, through the oxygen that the ocean's producing, through the, the fish uh, that, that, that's sustaining one billion people on, on this planet. When you realize just how connected you are to the ocean, then you start realizing what impacts you have on the ocean in your daily life. You know, what's your throwaway plastic? Are, are you taking straws? Are you taking disposable cups? Are you taking disposable plastic bags? Um, what kind of fish are you eating? Are you eating sustainably? Then all these questions start going into your mind and you start thinking, well, you know, how can I change my life to make it more sustainable? And then you start changing yourself. And, and I think that's, that's when things really start changing. It's when people start changing themselves. You need, you need scientific baseline studies um, consistently through time at regular intervals in order to see the evolution of the ecosystems through time. But without that, you still have valuable information in what people observe. So fishermen are catching less and less fish. You can, you can see their catch going down also. Um, divers are saying that they're seeing less and less things. Dive centers are uh, maybe making less money. Or, um, so there's a lot of economic actors that are impacted by the degradation of marine life. There's not like one silver bullet <laughs> per se. There's not one thing um, that can be addressed in order to, to solve that. Some people believe that environmentalists want less technology, less progress. We want, to, we want to hold things back. That is not true. Environmentalists want more progress, more science. That we can find new ways of making things in a more sustainable way. The ones who are holding us back are the ones who have economic interests in the system staying the way it is. I don't even need to mention them. You know who I'm talking about. So environmental, environmentalists are not reactionaries who want to go back to how things were before. It's quite the opposite. We want the future. We want that clean tech. We want you know, solar-powered um, planet. We, we don't want to go back to you know, horses and, and, uh, and hand labor. That's not what environmental movements are about today. It's, it's about progress. It's about taking us to the next level as a species. I'm working right now on um, um, what I call the timeless legacy, Cousteau's timeless legacy. So my father visited about 120 places in the world, made 120 documentaries about these places. I want to go back to all these places, revisit them, see what happened, what changed, um, highlight the best practices that have happened in, in, in some examples or the worst, um, and kind of revisit the world through that lens and, um, and use it to not only showcase best practices and give messages of hope and positivity, um, but also just inspire a new generation to care about the ocean, to care about nature. Because if not, um, you know, they're just going to be sucked into the materialistic uh, world and maybe not even know or care about nature until some schmuck like me shows up in an auditorium and shows them pictures.